Welcome to this episode of Accounting for Small Business with business accountant, Georgie Klein. Your expenses are broken down into two groups, your direct costs and your indirect costs. Your direct costs, of course, is always mentioned as being cost of goods sold, or also known as what total is your direct cost of doing your business. And then the indirect cost, of course, is your rent and your office supplies and that kind of stuff. This week, all I want to talk about is them direct cost or cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is the standard name used for direct cost. And of course, if you're manufacturing, it's going to be cost of your widgets. If it's landscaping, construction, it's going to be cost of your goods sold and the cost of your supplies. If it's a multi-level marketing, it's going to be the cost of the goods that you're selling. My years of service industry, though, has proven one thing. There's other costs in other industries that don't, say, have cost of goods sold, but definitely direct cost of doing your business. And I use that section for all my clients to put them costs there. And they would be costs like accounting. I use subcontractors or the cost of maybe of subcontracting out some of my tax preparation. For a dentist office or a medical supply office, it's the cost of the lab fees and your supplies and your tools. For a massage therapist, when you think about it, they do have direct costs and that's your oils and your towels and your washing and just that mood music. I was always in the architecture and land planning business for a long time and them direct costs were the cost of consultants, engineers, the lab legal fees, anything that you have the filing fees and of course all them prints they make so think of your industry and think of the things that are directly tied to your business as also a web hosting company okay they're going to do your website for you what are the costs that are directly influenced and directly are going to go up and down according to the business and according to your income and them items are the direct cost of doing your business and for budgeting and trying to plan ahead I like them separated from your indirect costs, and then that way it's easier to budget. Until next time, we're going to talk more about the indirect costs, and then we'll get into that whole span of expenses that you can control, and it's not quite as infected by the direct cost of income. As in before, thank you for listening. Please visit me on my website, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Until next time, thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of Accounting for Small Business with Georgie Klein. For more great information, visit her website at bizbygeorgie.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Columbus Biz TV Shows.